What's your read from this, of course, the South Korea CPI looking benign? So it certainly looks like the BOK will just have to wait for the Fed to move first. Well, we have a bit of a mixed news. Um, I think the positive news is that inflation is slowing, which gives the BOK a bit of comfortable pause, um, not yet cut, because mm. it has to balance between uh, um, uh, financial stability and also managing that deleveraging cycle, right? Inflation is slowing as expected, but still far from uh, where it targets. Um, remember that it hasn't revised inflation downward yet, but it upgraded GDP, which tells you that GDP is improving on a cyclical basis, and we're going to find out tomorrow if that's the case. Now, while GDP is improving thanks to the rise of double digits of exports, um, we saw that in the main um, um, average day number, it's not a comfortable increase, right? Because retail sales, even if it's solid, it's mostly driven by online and department stores and, and discount stores are down, which means that Korea is still on over, uh, going through this deleveraging cycle that needs to happen so that the BOK is more comfortable with it in the moment. So the, which means that I think um, while there's a bit of a hope of um, uh, a rate cuts, we're not there yet. And I think the BOK has time to pause. Um, with the Fed, I think the good news is that U.S. ISM is downward. The negative news for Asian mm -hmm. exporters, particularly Korea, um, other than uh, semiconductor companies, is that manufacturing demand in the U.S. is down. And the U.S. is a key driver of export growth in the past several years. The U.S. is now a number exactly. one export market for many Asian countries. What about this oil story out of uh, South Korea? I mean, the president himself talking about possible oil and gas reserves off the East Coast. Is that going to somehow give an extra lift to the South Korean economy? One of the positive drivers of inflation is really the downward movement of, um, well, food recently, but really it's transportation oil, right? And the OPEC news is positive because, you know, the fact that they're going to increase more supply potentially in October means that oil has moved downward, which is very important for a country that's a net deficit as a share of GDP quite wide for South Korea, right? Um, so, so any move to diversify energy supply is very important because Korea is a very, um, has many sectors that are very energy intensive. Um, and it's a very important driver for the current account. It's a very important driver for inflation. So I think um, uh, not just what um, the president wants to do in terms of future supply, but also uh, the movements recently in global markets and the trends have been supportive of not just South Korean inflation, but also the current itself, account itself, which is supported by greater export value from semiconductor thanks to reduced inventory and higher demand, but also the fact that we're paying less for import costs. And moving forward beyond just enjoying from the cyclical situation, South Korea has to think about the longer term challenge, which is the fact that it has a, a fossil fuel deficit, which means that it has to diversify not just increasing its own supply of fossil fuel, but also expanding via renewable, nuclear, and so on and so forth. And I think that's what they're doing. And moreover, thinking about long term beyond the cyclical recoveries from a semiconductor, what they will do to remain the competitive advantage as China push up the value chain.